right, in this video, we're going to look at problem number 25 on the free ATIT's math practice test that I have posted over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 25, Brett wants to soundproof his studio, which is in the shape of a box. He will cover all four walls, the floor, and the ceiling with soundproof padding material. If the floor's dimensions are 15 feet by 20 feet and the height of the room is 10 feet tall, how much will Brett spend on padding that costs $2.50 per square foot? Take note of the three numbers that I have here. The dimensions of the floor are 15 feet by 20 feet. So we have a 20 foot by 15 foot floor down here at the bottom. The height of the room is 10 feet tall. So that's the height of all of these vertical lines that you see here. When we cover up a space, we're going to wrap this entire room in some soundproof padding, the floor, the ceiling, and all four walls according to the problem. What we're really trying to find here is the surface area. What's the area of all six surfaces? There are six surfaces. You have four walls that go around the side, you have a ceiling, and you have a floor. So I'm going to look at this as being six pieces, but then we can actually think about it as being three. The floor and the ceiling have the same dimensions. The floor is 20 by 15. The ceiling is going to be the same thing. And that's automatically given in the fact that we have a box. The base and this roof or this ceiling up here have the same dimensions. Well, the area of the floor, since it's 20 by 15, we can take 20 times 15. And that's 20 feet times 15 feet. That's going to be equal to 300 square feet, but that's just the area of the floor. Since we have a ceiling, let's double that. 300 square feet here and 300 square feet here give us an area of 600 square feet for our floor and ceiling. The front and back wall, this front wall is what I'm talking about right here, and then this one back here in the back. That's the same thing as the front. Same concept, but make sure you get your dimensions correct. This front wall that you see right here is going to be 20 by 10 because we're using the height. So the area of the front wall is 20 times 10, which is 200 square feet. But again, since the back wall is the same, very similar to the floor and the ceiling, we need to double this front wall and back wall for an area of 400 square feet. Finally, we have our two side walls. That's this side wall you see over here, and then this one right back here. I know that one's a little bit uh, tougher to see, but think about it like that. These two side walls have the same area. Over here, we have 15 feet by 10 feet, so 15 times 10, that's 150 square feet. That's just this one wall over here. Doubling that, we have a total area there of 300 square feet. So think about what we've just done. We found the area of the floor and the ceiling, 600 square feet, the front wall up here, and the back wall, that's 400 square feet, and then the two side walls over here. We need to add up all of these areas to find what's called the surface area. So taking the 600 plus the 400 plus the 300, we get a total surface area of 1,300 square feet. Now let's make sure we answer the question. How much will Brett spend on padding that costs $2.50 per square foot? Square foot. Again, a big hint there. We're on the right track because we're using area. Area is in square units. Well, one square foot is $2.50. He does not have one square foot. He's got 1,300 square feet. He's going to burn a hole in his wallet. I mean, uh, one square foot is $2.50. Well, he's getting 1,300 of them. The shortcut here is to multiply there. 1,300 square feet times $2.50 per square foot. He's going to spend a total of 3250 bucks. Now, at this last step here of me multiplying confuse you, let me show you a proportion that will give us the same answer. The problem gave us this. One square foot is going to cost $2.50. Well, we know we have a surface area of 1,300 square feet. That's the ceiling, the floor, the two walls in the front and back, and then the two on the sides as well. That's our total surface area. We want to figure out how much that costs. So I have square feet over square feet and dollars over, technically this down here is dollars as well. How much money are we going to spend? Well, if you saw this proportion, assuming you know how to solve proportions very quickly, we take 1,300 times 250. That's exactly what we did right here. And then we just divide by 1 because 1 times x, well, that's just still x. 
So we get the same answer if we set this up as a proportion. And there you have it, problem number 25 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can pick this up over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.